So I've been getting this question a lot lately, and I feel like today's the day to answer it, and that is, what exactly are Nook Miles and the functionality? Let's go. What's up, everybody? Bobby here, the Nintendo Guru, and today I kind of want to talk about Nook Miles. I've been getting this question a lot lately. A lot of people are posing this question on my YouTube videos all across the board, and I felt like today was probably the best time to try to answer Nook Miles and work through that and explain, like, what exactly that whole terminal is and, and what it does in the residence center. So let's just jump into the game. Let's, let's do that, and let's see what we got here. Basically, this is the residence center. I mean, I'm pretty sure people know that at this point. I don't think there's a person playing the game that don't know what the residence center is or where it's located at on your map. But you come into the tent and when you walk in, there's like an ATM looking machine you know, on the right hand side. And a lot of people might be like, okay, it looks like an ATM machine. It should act like an ATM machine. It does to some degree, but it has other functionalities to it. The Nook Stop essentially does a couple of things. And we're gonna start with the first thing is Nook Miles. And how exactly do Nook Miles work in terms of what do you get? So you can redeem Nook Miles. And here's your redemption list right here, as you can see. So the Nook Miles ticket, this is what you're gonna buy. It's 2000 Nook Miles. This is gonna get you essentially over to the island tours. You're gonna, you're gonna click this, you're gonna buy this ticket. Then you're gonna take this ticket down to the dodo birds and you're going to then fly off to an island i'll get back to that in a second and i'll show you guys in a second how to do that but let's just go through the rest of the list as you can see you can get a customizable phone kit you can get different hairstyles you can get different fences which is huge wood fence brick fence then you could buy clothing and articles that are exclusive to the nook miles program think of the nook miles as a rewards program think of it as you're buying a lot of stuff you're doing a lot of stuff and they're paying you back for doing said things. You go through, you get all these exclusive items and then you can break it down into particular items if you want, like you, if you just wanna do DIY recipes or you just wanna buy the gifts or you wanna basically buy essential special items. That's step one. Step two of this center is the Nook Shopping. These are exclusive items that necessarily are only sold through this ATM terminal. These will be mailed to you you won't get them right away. You have to basically wait a few hours to get them. It's like buying online. It's like Amazon doesn't deliver right away. Unless you live in Washington State or whatever. Uh, for me, it takes two days deliveries to get something from Amazon, typically if I have Prime. This is the similar thing where you'll get it within the day. You click special goods and these are all items for the day that are exclusive. Sometimes they'll double dip and you'll get them back to back days. But there's all kinds of stuff here that basically you can only get through here, through this shop. They also have posters now, which is part of the whole Harv's Island. You scan an amiibo, posters show up in here, you buy them. It is what it is. You can post them on your walls and do all that fancy nonsense. The other things you can do is these three items here, you are basically able to rebuy items. So this is why I talked about in previous videos, it is important to buy up everything in the stores. Even if you're not gonna use it, you wanna buy it because maybe later on you need, I don't know, you need a lawnmower right? And you bought the lawnmower from the Nooks, but you don't have the lawnmower and because you sold it back or you got rid of it. You can come here and rebuy items, which is huge. You want to be able to come in and just click and then look at this is all the stuff that I have bought previously or owned previously that I can rebuy now for whatever. Now, some things, as you see, are not for resale. Some things you just can't but some of them, they're not for resale because they're crafting items. Some are just exclusive that you can't get. Some are crafting items. This in particular, the brick oven is a crafting item, so you can never rebuy it, but you can go craft it again if you get the items. But like the camping cot, I can rebuy it. The cardboard box, I can rebuy it. The cat tower, like you see all this. The classic picture, you gotta go make that. The clay furnace, I can rebuy that. There's so many things in here that is basically your your catalog, your inventory of what you wanna have that you can go back and get and all that stuff. So keep that in mind. The final aspect of this terminal is the ABD. And the ABD is your checking account. It is your ATM machine. It is your Mac card. There's multiple facets to this. So the first facet is 
your loan balance. This is how much money you owe on your house. This is what you owe, Nook. This is where your, your money needs to go at some point. Your savings balance. This is how much money you have, how much money you have in your hands. This is in your bank. This is not in your bell bag. So if you look in the top right-hand corner, I have 13,455 bells. That's money that I have on me right now. That's cash. The savings balance of $29,932 or bells, that was items that I sold overnight in the little box next to Nook's Cranny. They, they then in the morning deposit this money into my savings account. Now I can easily access it because all I need to do is go down to withdrawal and I can withdraw the entire amount or I can withdraw nothing. And then you see it just moves right into the amount. Now I can also deposit money. Maybe I want to save because you will get money back and you will essentially as time moves on, you'll get these different exclusive items sent to you for saving uh, for saving money. So we're going to deposit now. I'm just going to deposit 40,000 bells in here, right? Boom. It's now out of my my pockets and into the inventory. So how do we acquire Nook Miles? This is a huge thing that people are confused about, especially newcomers. I think those of us that have played the game before, we kind of get it. It's just a small iteration to what we already know, what we've already done. We've been playing Animal Crossing for years. We get it. We understand the ins and the outs of the game. This is the small details of what exactly is new. So basically you're gonna push the ZL button and this brings up your phone, your Nook phone. The second thing over is Nook Miles. You're gonna click it and this is all the Nook Miles. This is all the stuff that you can achieve. This is all the stuff that you can acquire throughout, right? These are the things that you wanna get and this is how you earn Nook Miles. You basically like, let's say trash tools and it'll tell you what you need to do, right? It's an achievement based system. So it says right now, using a tool until it breaks is proof of your hard work. In praise of your good deeds, you're getting Nook Miles based on how many tools you've broken. So every time you break a tool, every time you break a tool, it will then move over and into and earning a Nook Mile. You want to utilize this and it'll get you the Nook Mile. So now when I, right now I need another 100 tools to break. I've broken 52 tools so far. So when I get 100, it'll give me a set amount of Nook Miles, which then in the top right hand corner, you see what your miles accumulate at. You see how many Nook Miles you have. You click through and you can see, go through the entire list. Now look, here you go, Dream House. I can get miles, I've earned miles. It tells me right now you can get miles. So you click on it, you press A, and then it says, a home that you build yourself gives you greater livability. It is on a whole other level. I'll give Nook Miles to those who build or expand their homes to taste the good life. So now I click A, I've done five upgrades, right? Done five upgrades to my house for, I just earned 2000 Nook Miles. Press A, the money moves over, done. Now, this is why this is so important. You need to earn Nook Miles in the beginning of the game because when you earn Nook Miles, you can then pay off your vacation package. When you pay off your vacation package, Nook will offer you to buy a house. Then it goes from Nook Miles to pay off your house to bells and this is the whole fluidity of the game now at this point you go okay i've already paid off my my vacation what do i need miles for what's the point of getting miles now is where you actually can utilize those miles to go on island tours to buy exclusive items to do all kinds of stuff it's really just an achievement based system to bring you back to the game on the daily basis it is something to drive you to go I have to accomplish this. How do I accomplish it? Pretty simple. The final aspect I want to show is how you can utilize Nook Miles to go on an island tour. Some people are a little bit confused about how that essentially works. We're going to add this and we're going to add this to this to this video and I'll explain to you guys. So after I come into the, the Nook stop, right, after I buy my ticket out of this ATM machine, I'm going to then exit and I'm going to go down to the airport. So when you run down to the airport, so then you come down to the airport, you go in to talk to the Dodos. You're going to talk to Orville. He's waiting. He's the one that's behind the counter. Every time you enter, you're going to go up to him. You're going to talk to him. And he's basically saying like, welcome to Arkham airport. What do you want to do? How can I help you today? You click, I want to fly Roger. So 
just to get the paperwork official. He's just going through the whole spiel. Where do you want to go? Now, if you have a Nook ticket, if you bought the Nook ticket, there'll be an option here to click the Nook ticket and then go to an island. That island is separate and it's different every time you go. Every time you go, it's a different thing. You should probably carry some tools or none, or you don't need any tools because you can buy tools when you're at the island or you can craft tools when you're at the island. So these are just different things that you want to utilize throughout the game. But Nook Miles is huge. And that's the whole point of this video today is to show you guys where things work and how things work throughout this. So, so that is all. Thank you guys for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, slap the like button down below. Share it with all your friends. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Hit the bell so you know what's going on around here. You can follow me over on Twitter. We also stream every single day over on Twitch at Nintendo Gurus. That is all. Uh, peace out, Preston.